Baby, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. What's up, Aries? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Hope you guys are enjoying your summer. It's been going down. The grind is real. But I'm back on the table to bring you a love message. You guys know I don't really like love messages. But I'm going to bring you some love messages. See what's been going on with you and this person so let's see what's going on beloved what's the overall energy for aries and their person at this time what's the energy for aries and their person at this time please you got a couple of cards that want to come out union and dreams share my world don't you leave this person to listen to music. I cannot get through a reading. This is my second time recording, and I felt like there were so many songs in the other reading. I'm just like, oh my goodness. Like, I was just on, on song overloads. So somebody is listening to tons of music regarding you. But let's see what's up, Aries. Beloved, what's going on with Aries in their person? Let's do a short form of such a cross. Beloved, what's going on with Aries in their person, please? What's going on with Aries in their person? Thank you. Hmm. The lovers. You guys could have been together for the fourth. If not, it's just... When you two are together, you guys have a very um, powerful connection. This connection like extends space and time. You know, you guys, it's like you, you guys were the type of couple who could go in and be gone together for days before you come out and resurface and be like, hey, everybody, you know, I wasn't lost. I, I know I haven't been answering my phone, but I was just busy or something like that. It just seems like the type of connection that you, you lose days in because, I mean, you guys were so in tune with one another, right? Right. Crossing. First date. It's interesting. There's two hearts here, one on the side, but one has a cherry on it, which means one is exclusive, right? But this first date energy, someone had somebody else when they came into this connection. Um, I don't know if it's a child energy because of the little heart. It could be, could not be, but it just seems like there was a, another energy that wasn't a part of this connection. I keep getting this energy of you guys going in and not resurfacing for days. I hope this ain't nobody that went out and, you know, was having sex for days, missing work and, you know, all that type of stuff. But it seems like this connection is just so deep from day one, right? From day one, it was like, you guys just clicked, right? What's at the foundation? Butterflies, huh? This energy is so beautiful that it's almost like what happened? Because for butterflies to be here butterflies come out of cocoons right after a period of time and then there are these beautiful butterflies but initially they're not so attractive no one would like want the cocoon but you know if you could everyone would want like a butterfly energy so it's like the way that you two were i mean it was just these these powerful impactful emotions that came to surface i mean this could have been a relationship where you guys met each other and it moved really really fast 
unexpectedly like you guys were you know one day you met and then the next day you know you guys are together and from there on you guys were together every day right that that not coming for up for air type energy right but it seems like the energy was um reciprocated it was a, a beautiful energy a beautiful time that you two shared together like it was one that made both of you guys smile when you guys were apart thinking about you know your times together you know it was the type of relationship where if you had friends and and uh um um, family members or something They're like you acted funny you don't never answer your phone no more you don't uh, ever since you got was it was such and such you know so it was that type of energy a lot of beautiful energy that was around this connection so what happened in the past beloved the producer mm. so there was a person that came into this was someone that wasn't minding their business. This was someone, I promise you, either they found out dirt on your person when they looked up dirt or something. It's like somebody brought dirt to someone and, 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 and um, slandered someone's name, put some respect on my name. <laughs> I don't know who that's for, but that's how somebody feels. But it's the same energy. That's continuously coming up in your reading. So in the past, you think, I bet you, Aries, you believe that you guys are just broken up just because. Do you know the profound impact that someone spreading a rumor had on your connection with this person? Do you know that this person was a meddler that came in to destroy your relationship purposely? Someone that didn't want to see you happy with this person because you just had too much damn joy, too much fire. Like your fire was exuding out of your head because you were like in this beautiful zone with this person. So someone can handle it. This person, they're sneaky and they're cunning. This is a person, either when you seen them or last seen them, they had on a daffodil or some type of flower on their shirt. Watch out for a person with a flower on the shirt. This is the person I'm talking about. The investigator. This person went looking for information. This person went and dug up dirt, paid for dirt, things like that. This is the instigator. Whoever this person was did not want to see you guys together, did not want to see you happy and destroy this re this connection. Why do I keep getting the sense that you think that this connection just failed just because? No. Somebody said something and whispered in somebody's ear. I'll give you guys a pro perfect example. I know you fellas probably don't know this or watch this movie, but a lot of females have watched this movie. So you guys remember... Uh, was it? Yeah, Sex in the City, right? So Carrie and Big, they about to get married, do they thing, right? And they're all happy and whatnot. They have the rehearsal dinner. Everybody's having a good time, a great time. And then Steve shows up. And Steve wants to talk to Miranda. Miranda come back in, piss, and says something to Big like, you two are crazy to get married. Marriage ruins everything, right? And from the, then on, Big had, had already been divorced, loving the shit out of Carrie. He's like, well, I don't want to lose Carrie. And she, maybe she's right because I've been divorced before and it did ruin everything. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's a seed planted. And eventually that seed grew into this fear and he never showed up for the wedding. Whoever this person with this producer energy is trying to direct the fucking show direct your life direct your person's life this is that instigator energy that keep coming up this energy doesn't just keep coming up for no reason it keeps coming up and readings as this third party instigating that person yeah leap of faith interesting this is a rat with a heart or a bat with a heart. Ooh. 
the name could start with a B, right? David Stanford, bitch. But either way, this is a bat with a heart. And um, leap of faith. Someone needed or is needing to step out of this fear. I'm telling you, there was a fear that was implanted into someone's energy. They didn't have this fear initially, right? Initially, they were all in. Like I said, it was such a beautiful attraction, right? Beautiful. But somebody implanted fear into this person and changed how this person operated and moved within this connection. This person feels very vulnerable at this time. Like, if this person comes to you, just know that it took everything within them, all the courage, right? To get over their fear, whatever this fear was. This person has a, a big fear of rejection. So if you, if you aren't feeling this person anymore, let them down easy, right? Because the way it's coming out is this person isn't going to be able to handle it if you reject them. It's coming up, the final two. You and your beloved. If it was... Who is this damn... um? third party that's always in the mix on the outside looking in there's someone here that's a hater okay not only are they a hater they're an instigator manipulator all kind of things hater right they just got hater rate in their damn cup just as a fucking hater huh but your person knows exactly what they want and they've been preparing for it too exactly yeah they miss you. They miss you so much, Aries. They cry. But they don't let you see their tears or their true feelings. But they know you're the one for them. They know. This person could be... Because remember, I was talking about a um, child being involved. This person could be a, a single father. Or you could be a single mother or something. But this person wants your heart. This person wants you to give your heart freely to them. Whoever um, instilled this fear, they need they ask for. Let's see who this person is. Who is this producer energy over here? Let's talk about this producer energy. Because you know what? It just keeps coming up, Aries. It keeps coming up because I see that you guys have a opportunity to make this stuff right, right? It's like this is divine. It's under, like, it's divinely, with them stars being in the back, like, this is a divine, like, meeting. Like, I don't feel like this person's going to call or anything. I feel like you're going to see this person somewhere, and that's going to be when they take their initiative, especially with that union card being there. Who is this producer energy, please, in Aries' life? Who is this producer's energy? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Aries, who is this motherfucking person? First off, the um four of pentacles and the star. Why is all these body parts being exposed? This is a person that tried to seduce your person right underneath your nose. Like, they feel like this is what they get. I think, I think that this person either gave them some head or something like that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, or something. Show them a titty. Or something like that, Aries. This person, huh. And you know what? I'm going to tell you like this, Aries. I know it's cheating. But it wasn't this person's fault. Because whoever this energy was, was a seductress. Okay? 
a seducing ass energy. Oh my goodness. That's, who is this person that was seducing Aries person? <laughs> the lover said that's facts. Then they thought that if you mess with me, I'll take your man. I'll take your man right off the box and put him under my... This person thought they was going to take your person here. Who was this person, please? Judgment could be a Sagittarius. <laughs> Aries, Sagittarius. A Empress energy. Could be a Libra. Baby mama, baby daddy, may look a little bit closer at these cards. Yeah, that's person. There goes those butterflies around this judgment card. It could be a Sagittarius, an older woman. An older woman or older man Sagittarius energy. They try to tell them that they can um, do it real good. And so they let them try. Or something, Aries. This person got seduced, okay? Your person got seduced. It wasn't their... Well, it was their fault to a certain extent. But I'm trying to be the advocate for your person. Because these seductress energies that we be talking about, man, y'all got to go watch that um, live I did. You guys can fast forward past the reading part of it in the beginning, but you guys need to go and watch that live that I did that was talking about these cheating spirits. This person seduced your person right underneath your nose, probably in your house. This could have been a babysitter, a best friend, a baby mama, but it's definitely an older Sagittarius-like energy. So someone that has a Sag in their chart, someone that is a Sag, like I said, watch out for a flower on their shirt or the last time you see them, they had like a flower on their shirt, melt, excuse me, male or female. If, if, if you a guy, they gave you a person, okay, like if this person could have had a dress on, a slip on or something like that, and this person just, I'm just saying, I, I feel bad for you guys because this, this person tried to come in between you two, but person's coming back to you Aries so let's go ahead and get a message from beloved and close out this reading beloved what's going on with Aries please uh, it wasn't their fault I feel it wasn't their fault but ain't nobody trying to hear that right Aries hey before we get those let me get a couple of these huh because this is definitely tell the truth I'm gonna use my um Black, Black Madonna HP Table Etiquette Love Oracle and see what's up. I love that. What does this person want Aries to know, please? What does this person want Aries to know, please? The meddling energy. Huh? Wow. I see your glow up and I wish I was still with you. Absolutely. You already know they see this, Aries, because you've been on your, um, um, let me reintroduce myself energy. This is definitely a twin flame. That's why that union card is there. Okay. Um, I'm going through life. I'm going through a lot in my life right now. Absolutely. They be feeling like, you know what this, why do I feel like this is more than a feeling than a fact? Since um since they're not with you, it seems like everything is going wrong in their life, but it's just because their emotions are irritated because they're not with you. If you don't come back, I can't control what I may do. Oh, so this person's dead ass serious. And I hope I don't mean that literally, but this person's dead ass serious. They want you back. I'm unhappily married. Can I still have you? Why do I feel like this was a person? This person over here. I feel like that was this person over here. Like, I know I'm married, I got a man, but I'm unhappy. Like, just let me, let me just do it real quick. 
Wow, this person stalking you, Aries. I ride past your house, watch you on social media. I secretly stalk you. So they have an obsession with you now. <laughs> but can you blame them? I mean, the connection was so cold. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this was a, a relationship that was going to be built to last. But then, little Miss Thirsty over here, like literally thirsty. Okay? That was the issue. So... Either way, Aries, I thank you guys so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Check out BlackMadonnaHP.com. That's the boutique. You guys are going to love it. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care.